In this tutorial, I will show you how I do my bouncy shakes and my high frequency shakes. First, I will go over on how I do my bouncy shakes. I will leave a timestamp right here on when I do my high frequency shakes. When it comes to bouncy shakes, they work really well on scale outs. So first, I'm going to put S shake on my clip. And I'm going to go for a Y bounce shake with a little bit of tilt. So when I put on S shake on my clip, I'm going to go to where it says X shake and I can turn it all the way down. And since I don't want it to bounce that frequently, I will put it, let's say four. For bouncy shakes, you really want the frequency to be around two to five. Anything higher might be more bouncy if you want it that way. But for now, I recommend using two to five frequency. And for the Y shake, I'll just put it to, let's say 100, doesn't matter too much. And then for tilt, I'll probably leave it at, let's say, let's say five. Here, I'm gonna make a keyframe for shakes. I'm gonna press U, so it opens up the keyframes. And then I'm gonna have it, let's say, uh, four amplitude. And then at the end of the clip, I'm gonna turn the amplitude to zero. And I will graph it, so, kinda like this. You can always make it sharper, or not. I'll just leave it like that. That's how, and there you go, you have a bounce shake. And you can simply copy this S shake onto your other clips and just move the keyframe, the keyframe so it matches your the length of your clip. And there you go. So this, this how I do my bounce shake. Now you can always raise the amplitude to let's say let's do 5.5. And then if you want to change for other clips, you can just copy and paste them on all the clips again. And make sure the final keyframe matches. It goes to the end of your goes to the end of your clip, and that's how I do my bounce. For high frequency shakes, you want to put on that shake again. But unlike the bouncy shakes, your frequency will be really high, somewhere around 20 to 25. I'm just going to go with 22.5 because that's right in between 20 and 25. But really doesn't matter because they're very high frequent shakes. You're going to make an amplitude keyframe and make sure to ease ease again. And then come here, make the amplitude zero. And then I'm going to go back to the beginning. And then in my X and shake settings, I'm going to make them equal but also have them low. So my X random will be 50 and so will my Y. I'll just make it 50 as well. And I'll make the amplitude, let's say uh, three is good. And then I'm gonna graph it not too sharp because I want the shake to last. And these high frequency shakes go better with like edgy shakes. I mean edgy scales if that makes sense. Now I think the shake lasts too long, right? So all I'm gonna do is just make the graph a lot sharper. But for the graph is, you don't have to copy my graph, it's whatever you think looks best. So now that I think the shake looks nice, I'm, oh yeah, make sure your shake, your keyframes last from the beginning of the clip to the end. And now I'm just gonna copy my S shake onto my other clip. And it's also the same length, but normally you would just adjust the keyframes and then make sure the graph is the same. And now my high frequency shakes are done as well. That would be it for my shakes tutorial. If you have any other questions, please let me down in the comments below. Please also let me know what other tutorials I should make. Thank you so much for watching. And I will also leave this project file with the resources in the description for you to download and look at. Again, thank you so much for watching, and please leave a like on the video if you liked it.